don't know. It's been a while. I'll try and make this relatively quick. Pre-Dallas, so we're out here. Got an Airbnb. Um, whole family's coming out. Really excited for this race. Just been a long month and a half of trying to refine fitness and get back into the groove of things. One of the last videos that we made for YouTube uh, was post Alcatraz going a couple weeks before Edmonton. And while workouts were going well, um, they, we didn't have enough time to stack to compete at the highest level, but um, you always have to get in there and give it your best shot. Four weeks is basically what we had to work with, and that's about the bare minimum to just be in shape. Where it was able to build kind of through the Collins Cup and get in another solid few weeks before and after it, and now I'm feeling good. Did some heat training. It's beautiful here in Dallas right now. It's going to warm up a bit, but um, that's basically been my summer is um, finding form. So. This is the kind of big test before 70.3 Worlds. Honestly, I'm looking for just a super strong race across the board. It's gonna be pretty important to not, you know, take too many crazy risks if the weather does heat up, but really just wanna test myself and give myself the opportunity to run fast because I've really been able to improve the run and feel really pretty confident about it. So. That's kind of my main goal for the race. Honestly, there's not that much to say. It's just about going out in Dallas and competing with you know some of the best in the world in a very competitive race. I've just been loving the PTO races, the competition they bring, and the intensity of racing as well. So it's been a little frustrating in the summer trying to find my form and have some races that, that were subpar. But in this sport, like I just was operating on razor thin kind of margins for error where there is that chunk of time around Alcatraz where like just their family was basically all sick and I mistook a, a head cold um, or mistook a sinus infection for a head cold and um, can't do that in this sport and be off for basically three weeks. It's way too competitive now. So everybody is raising the bar. Um, these guys are, are super fast. So. Um, I'm just going to enjoy going out and racing the guys around me and we'll see where that puts me. So today is Thursday. We race Sunday. Basically, it was the last kind of revving of the engine before the, the big day. So kind of a taper week, uh, I'd say. But we go, we found that I respond, you know, I've always responded well to volume, I'm trying to maintain that a little bit. So just an easy run with some strides at the end um, to get that endurance and to just get the the legs turnover um, going at the end of the run. Um, the bike was really kind of the main revving of the engine, I guess. It was basically like nine by three minutes, just race pace efforts or a little bit above race pace. Um, that's definitely not, you know, hard by any means, um, but worked out relatively well on the roads here since there's not a whole lot of space to really ride in where the race is at until race day. Uh, and the swim was just endurance for the most part and decided to try a, a couple fast hundreds and was surprised actually at how well I was swimming in a warm pool. So um, I think things are coming together. Um, and yeah, I mean, overall, like I'm feeling really excited and motivated, but just trying to keep a, a level head about everything. And yeah, I think that the biggest learning lesson too is um, from this year's, I just, you can't have any expectations sometimes. And um, some of the, the subpar racing just kind of humbles you a little bit. It makes you want to work hard and it just makes me more motivated to express what I'm seeing in practice every day. Mm -hmm.